Binance might actually acquire FTX. FTX, by the way, is completely broke. They're gone. And Alameda Research as well. Alameda Research is the market maker from Sam Beckman Fried. Sam Beckman Fried is also the owner of the FTX exchange. Now, CZ just tweeted this. This afternoon, FTX asked for our help. There is a significant liquidity crunch. To protect users, we signed a non-binding LOI intending to fully acquire FTX.com and help cover the liquidity crunch. We will be conducting a full DD in the coming days. He also added that there is a lot to cover and will take some time. This is highly dynamic situation and we are assessing the situation in real time. Binance has a discretion to pull out from the deal at any time. So this is not guaranteed at all. So you have to be really careful with FTT. We expect FTT to be highly volatile in the coming days as things develop. So this news made a huge pump on FTT, which was crashing by, I think, 40%, if not more. So Bitcoin also having a nice bounce from that news. And this is how you acquire your biggest competitor overnight after nearly bankrupting them. So well played for CZ. Uh, Sam Beckman Fried is completely burned out. He won't get any job in crypto anymore. Who is going to trust Alameda Research when, you know, things like this happen? All it took was one tweet to bring down the second largest crypto exchange. And that's why it's so important to keep your crypto somewhere safe either your own personal address or like 99% of people you will keep on a good exchange. So of course I recommend Binance. Binance is the largest crypto exchange. It is the best one. The referral code for 20% trading fee discount for life is in the pinned comment plus a $300 sign up bonus if you buy crypto in the first seven days of opening your account. So it's a cashback voucher. So anyway, Here's the capital flight from FTX. This is how bad things were. In the last 48 hours, $687 million were withdrawn from FTX and the weekly flow almost $1 billion leaving the FTX exchange. Despite Bankman reassurance that FTX is fine, assets are fine, a competitor is trying to go after us with false rumors, FTX has enough to cover all client holdings. Oh, really? So maybe that's why FTX is limiting withdrawals to $1,000. Users report technical issues. People cannot withdraw from FTX. It is absolutely insolvent. Just to give an idea of how bad things are on FTX right now, 300,000 Ethereum and 20,000 Bitcoin were withdrawn from FTX. Here is the updated chart of FTX reserves of BTC. So the blue line is a reserve. So around 20,000 and then today pff, down to zero. It's gone. It's gone. They don't have the Bitcoin reserves. They lost about 75% of Ethereum reserves and they lost all stablecoin reserves. And that's why people cannot withdraw. But Sam Beckman Fried said that FTX is fine. And the problem does not end there because KuCoin is facing massive outflow as well because Alameda Research, which is the market maker from Sam Beckman Fried, which is the same guy who owns FTX Exchange. It's basically the same thing. The two companies are different only in name, but they are essentially the same company. So Alameda Research is withdrawing from KuCoin, from their market maker service, to give liquidity to the FTX Exchange because they are broke. They don't have enough money. They are over leveraged and it became very clear that they do not have enough money. I don't know what they did to lose so much money so fast. Maybe they lost money with the crash. I thought they had money. For me, it is mind blowing that they just go bankrupt from a single tweet. Uh, but anyway, this is the, the exchanges with the worst outflow. I think this is from yesterday, so it's not really updated. But FTX number one, of course, and KuCoin with a lot of outflows as well. So KuCoin might be a problem. Other exchanges have a big withdrawal as well. Crypto.com. These are all uh, not very good exchanges to say the least. I would recommend if you still don't have a Binance account, sign up with the best, with the largest, with the safest crypto exchange. It is the only one that I use, the only one that I trust as well. You can sign up with the link below. Now we have to see if this deal is actually going to happen. It is not guaranteed as CZ said himself. A lot of things happening in the same day. News just kept coming in. But anyway, I give you the a very short summary. I might make a longer video talking about 
uh, all the problems surrounding FTX exchange. If you still are locked in FTX, I recommend leaving FTX, going to Binance, going to a good crypto exchange. Uh, the volume there, the liquidity there is over 10 times higher. It is the number one exchange and there's a reason for that. So anyway, this is my quick update for the crypto space and I will see you on the next video.